Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, and today I have a super fast, super easy Bible journaling video for you today. It's Palm Sunday, and I'm going to be working in John chapter 12, verse 12. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The people were crying out in welcome to their king. They thought he was going to be one kind of king, but we know that he was a different kind of king. The watercolors I'm using, I put in this palette by Woodward and Father, and I will leave you a link to their Etsy store so you could pick one up if you're interested. There are several people that make palettes like this, but these guys actually paint the inside so that you have a white surface for mixing paint on, as well as this has magnetic in the bottom of it so that the little pans stay in place. And I use this as a travel palette sometimes when I go places. And I'm just gonna put some color down. We're gonna do wet in wet painting. And you can do wet in wet, you can do wet in dry, lots of different ways you can apply paint. But I'm gonna put some color down across the whole page, because you know me, I like color all over my page. And I'm gonna put some kind of cobalt teal blue and then a little nickel azo yellow. Any kind of paints will do for something like this. And I'm just gonna make sure the surface is relatively wet, not so super soppy wet. But while it's still really good and wet, I'm gonna paint a big cross in here. And what I was thinking of was when I was a little girl, we used to make palm crosses out of the palm branches that we got at church. And that was a tradition that my church had. And then we had them hanging up in our house and used them in different ways throughout the year. And I just wanted to make a nice big green cross here. After it was somewhat dry, then I put a sheet of paper over it and just iron it on high for just a quick couple seconds to flatten it out a little bit better. Watercolor does wrinkle paper, and this never gets it back to 100%, but it gets it awfully close. Just a few swipes with that iron, and then I can remove those sheets of computer paper. I wrote my words in pencil first and then added pen. Before you were crucified as a criminal, you were welcomed as a king. And I found that on the internet as a phrase. Now, of course, this is on Palm Sunday morning. I don't know what my pastor will be preaching about, but if your pastor has a really great Palm Sunday message, this would be a great place to capture that message so that you remember what your pastor preached about. That's one of the great things about Bible journaling is you can put those things down and and not forget them because I am good at forgetting things. I am a bear of little brain. So a lot of times coming home and just doing a quick Bible journaling after the service at church will help me to recall things. But since I was doing this ahead, I found this on the internet when I was doing some Holy Week study and looking for some online resources. And I thought that was amazing. He was crucified as a criminal, welcomed as a king, but in my life, who he is, he always was, he always will be my king. And I left room down there for a little personal prayer as well. So I hope this is something that you might try. Don't forget to capture your pastor's messages, or if you hear something on the radio or in a song, use those things to remind yourself of the truth that's in the scriptures. When something hits you, write it down so you don't forget. All right. I hope you all have a blessed Holy Week. I still will have a video on Easter Sunday, so I will meet you back here. But I know lots of you might not catch up with it until Monday. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.